Ladies and gents, boys and girls, thanks for joining me on my YouTube channel, Rider Skills. I'm Neil, your host for all this shenanigans. Now, quick question. How are your slow riding skills going? Have you got it nailed yet? Have you cracked it? If not, watch this upload. Now, quick thanks uh, to all my subscribers before we crack on. Um, not long ago, I had a nondescript channel, if you like. I had no real theme or direction. And I've come up with what I believe to be a, a decent concept, I hope. And uh, I've gained over 100 subscribers in the space of two short months. And that, let me tell you, is very much appreciated. So thank you to my subscribers. Keep commenting. Keep giving it the thumbs up or down, whatever. Share the channel. Comment if you can. Give me a like on the social pages too. The link somewhere on my screen there um on my uh, youtube home page uh, i've got the instagrams and the facebooks so if you like me follow me i promise to do the same back to you so thank you for that now onwards right today we're going to be looking at simplifying slow riding techniques and hopefully sharing some tips on how to crack this awesome cool bit of riding uh, it's a super cool skill to be able to, to, to do. And uh, I'll be covering three basic motor controls that we hopefully already use every day anyway when we ride. In effect, we're not really going to be learning anything new, but we'll be adding just a couple of things to the, to the, to the toolbox, and that's delicacy and finesse. Uh, and I, I love the word finesse when it's to do with uh, motorcycling, Okay. Um, it's something we need to add to our riding on every journey. And if you can add finesse to your ride, you've basically cracked it because you've been riding smoothly. And that, folks, basically is the art of being a great motorcyclist. Okay. Now, before we get started, first thing like we do before every ride, or we should be doing tyre pressures and especially your chain as well. Make sure if you've got a chain, um, just make sure that that's adjusted. And your tyre pressures are good. It make this technique a whole lot easier as well okay and for anybody who's reasonably new to riding you might find this a little bit daunting the slow riding let me tell you there's absolutely no need to be you know intimidated by what we do there's only three controls that you'll be using while slow riding and it's your back brake your accelerator and your clutch that's all you're going to be doing once you've selected your first gear that's it you'll not be changing gear again you'll not be using your front brake at all your rear brake will only be put on at once basically during the technique you'll be light even pressure on your rear brake basically all the time and uh, like all things in life all you have to do if you want to be good at it is practice and if you follow these tips you'll almost be riding at a standstill without putting your feet on the floor in no time at all so let's go have a ride Let's have some fun and enjoy it. Let's do it with a smile. Relax. Get on the bike. Take some nice deep breaths. And just let's go with the flow. We're riding a bike today, guys. It's going to be great. Enjoy. So, here we are. What a beautiful place. What a beautiful day. This is Largs Bay. It's the sea, and this is the Esplanade, and that's the Triumph Bonneville. Okay, now today I'll have a tip. If you have an iPhone and you press and hold the zero, you get a degrees sign. I never knew that, never knew, and now I do. And hopefully, for them that didn't know it, so do you. Now, maybe I'm just thick and I've just missed it. Probably that. Anyway, talking of degrees, it's 31 today. It's going to be warm and it's uh, supposed to be... Stay there. It's supposed to be autumn. That's all right. We're going to be doing some slow riding skills today. As per... Oh, there's the ute, as per my introduction a few minutes ago. And by the... Let's watch 
actually you notice and by the um, skills of my editing I'm hopefully hopefully gonna be uh, able to sync all this together okay right here we go today we are going to be doing a bit of slow riding and as such a bit of editing okay so what we're going to do select first gear And relax. Let your clutch out until you get that buying point. A bit of throttle and then just bimble along nice and slow. We're only going straight lines initially. And what I'm talking about is balancing your throttle and your accelerator. Sorry, your throttle and your clutch on that biting point. And your my foot brett my foot, you'll better see hopefully on the brake pedal is just kept at the same pressure nice and even all the time now you'll notice I'm wearing the old Adidas Sambas I wouldn't normally wear these and I've tucked the laces in but this is so you can hopefully see the sole got a car coming out here hopefully you can see the sole and the stripes moving on my feet so that's just for the purpose of this video so what we're talking about we'll go back to the intro to what we said earlier well what we're talking about is just three basic controls it's my throttle and my clutch and my back brake and it's a balance of the three you're not touching the front brake we're not changing gear Okay, and what we're doing here is just a nice even pressure, which I hopefully you can see because I'm wearing the right footwear to show this up on the back brake. Your clutch just on the nice balance, right in the middle there, just slipping the clutch nicely and balancing the throttle. And just practice, practice, practice. It's all it's about is just getting that balancing point if you find you're going a bit too fast you can free wheel pull your clutch in back off just cover your back brake now what you don't want to be doing is doing your front brake because what happens is you get this you'll notice that inside on the, on the camera you'll be able to see my telescopic forks diving you don't want that because it upsets the balance so it's all back brake and clutch and you can notice I can rev my engine but I'm still driving there I've still got power being transmitted to the drive but I'm controlling that rev with the clutch in and out just ever so slightly clutching it okay and that's all you gotta do is practice them three techniques it's your clutch nice and easy like that and, eat, and at that point now I found the balance so what I'm doing now is I'm keeping my accelerator in the same place and I'm just controlling everything, my back brake in the same place and on now it's all on my clutch and that's how I'm controlling my speed or should I say the power to my rear wheel to my rear wheel via the clutch and it's just slow speed riding like this I've not adjusted my brake I've not adjusted my throttle, my accelerator. This is purely on my clutch. And as I say, no front brake, no changing of gear. I suggest practicing a nice clear car park similar to this one. 
and you can just bimble along and you can start off faster and then just slowly bring your speed down and tell you what relax as well and the other secret as well is don't look at what you're doing look at where you want to go keep your head up I've angled the camera hopefully so you can see my hands on this situation I'm going to go U-turn here back round of myself I'll tell you what I'll do I'll go the other way that way the sun's in the better position to watch what I'm doing you will you'll just see here same situation now I'm going to go in a straight line here and it's, again it's just that same even amount of pressure the cyclist coming down I'll just get out of their way so same even pressure on the back brake and same amount of acceleration so what I'm looking at now I've got that balance it's pure clutch I want to stop pull the clutch in I'm going to go pull the clutch out and find that balance but I've not touched my I've not increased pressure on my back brake and I've not changed the throttle it's all in one place I'm just holding it steady and that's the only the three controls you need now what I suggest you do in practice is go a bit quicker I'll go right and down here Right, now we've got, got, got that cracked, what we're going to do now is just do some figure of eights. Now in this situation you've got to balance a bit more throttle, because I'm almost at a standstill. And I'm actually at full lock there, and that's not, that's a nice skill to have, but it's not something you'd necessarily use. And you know what, there's a lot to be said for safety wise putting your feet down that's full lot left hand down you see what I did there just felt it going so I just got a bit, bit of bit of a bit of uh, clutch and it's different left hand down to right hand down I think it's more difficult because of the way the throttle's set up I think to go left hand down you're reaching your arms in a different position I haven't quite got that motor skill on left hand down, full lot left hand as opposed to full lot right hand because you're stretching, you're reaching. Let's watch this uh, black Commodore, let's eat me. So you lose a little bit of, let's get out of his way. No, nope, it's turned in, that's all right. Quite handy, you've got to keep an eye on your environment. And like anything, you've just got to practice, practice, practice. This is the rider skills doing some honours there. The floor is lava. Is it at home? Yeah. Nice, even pressure. That's purely Pressurising the back brake the same on the clutch. So what happened there was I was purely on the th on the clutch only. That's what controlled my speed or the put the power to my rear wheel. The uh, 
pressure on the back brake was the same, the throttle accelerator practically the same, it's just finding that nice bit of balance. But like anything in life, it's all about practice. And practice, practice, practice. But as I say, you're only using three motor controls being your clutch, your accelerator and your back brake. Hoping that that camera's got a decent angle on my foot. Try to rider skills or die. Get strong. Subscribe to rider skills. Rider skills. Okay, subscribe to rider skills. It might just save your life. I like it. That'll do.